What's up, my fellow vapors? We are back with another power up, this time for the Wood Sense. We're going to be taking one of my favorite vapes, the Wood Sense from Ed's TNT. We're going to be beefing it out with some ruby balls and making this a tiny injector vape. For starters, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my friend from the Discord, Draw Me an Elephant. He is the mind behind this wonderful ball vape wood sense upgrade. He is also the mind behind this wonderful wood sense accessory from Ed's TNT, which is basically an on the go wood sense variable voltage adapter. This is a USB C plug that you would go to uh, just like a portable battery, like any type of Anker or um, USB C battery charger and then this plugs into the wood sense and now you have a portable on the go wood sense it's a very cool upgrade i was using it uh recently at the beach which is kind of funny so yeah really easy to take on the go and a really cool accessory if you love your wood sense now moving on to the main attraction of this show is going to be how to upgrade your wood sense to just give a little more oomph as it stands, the Wood Sense is a great sipping vape. You can turn it on and just leave it on and hit it as many times as you want throughout the day and you never have to turn it off or let it cool down. If you're playing video games or doing something like drawing or any sort of, you know, hands-on activity and you just want something that's always ready to go, the Wood Sense is a great option. I go over how the Wood Sense works in my log video, so if you haven't seen that, check it out because we're going to skip over a lot of the basics of just how this works and what's going on here. I guess the big question is, why would I do this to my wood sense? Well, the name of the game here is going to be heat retention. When you add all these balls underneath the screen to the top of the heat core, you're putting a huge thermal mass there. Once the heat core gets up to temperature, the, the balls allow it to sustain heat really really well so you can pull on it and pull on it and pull on it and it kind of just never gives up i've really been enjoying this upgrade and it took the wood sense from something that was every once in a while when it was convenient to something that is really almost like a desktop heavy hitter at this point so let's get started the hardest part about this ball upgrade situation is probably one of the hardest parts about just the wood sense in general luckily it's something that you don't have to do very often it's not a maintenance thing if you don't want to do this upgrade it's probably something you'll never have to do which is take out this CCD here. What I did is I have this titanium toothpick. I bent the tip just a little bit to make a slight little hook and I just stick it in the center of the CCD and just kind of pry up like that and it pops right out. Next up you're going to take about 22 two millimeter rubies and you're going to put it inside of that gap there. Just a small note on the size of the rubies, it does have to be two millimeter rubies. These really, really, as you can see, they're really, really small. If you use three millimeters, you'll get far fewer balls to fit. And what's going to happen is it's going to restrict the airflow even further than the wood sense is already restrictive. And if you've hit a wood sense before, you know, it's like a really restrictive device to begin with. So making that restriction even more is not great. With the two millimeter balls, you get to fill this whole gap and still leave a lot of room for air to travel. It's really necessary to use the two millimeter. You're gonna use about 22 of them. You can do this part with tweezers like this or a uh, jeweler's claw or a turp talon as some people call it. Just go slow. You know, these little two millimeter balls aren't necessarily the easiest to handle and uh, they are very easy to lose. So we're gonna just go ahead and stack all these in here. Be right back. Alrighty, so now that all the balls are in there, you kinda just wanna smooth them down, level them out so they make a flat surface on the top. It'll make getting your screen in a lot easier. And this is the other difficult part about this mod is that uh, getting the CCD to go back inside. I try and make sure that it's really flat. Sometimes I will squish it against something to just really get it to flatten out. And then what I do is I take it, lay it on top, use my master key to gently push in one side. Okay. 
and then use my finger. Once it's seated inside, you hear it click, and then I just use my finger to gently push it down like that. And that is it. That's all it takes to get this uh, mod all done. And now you have a tiny ball injector vape. Super cool. The one drawback to this mod that I've found so far is it takes the already lengthy heat up time of the wood sense and makes it even lengthier. So it is really important now, more important than it was before, that if you want to cut that heat heat up time down, what you can do is, let's say you usually hit the wood sense at seven. What I would do is I would just bump it all the way up to 10, wait about five, six minutes, and then come back to your operating temperature at seven and let it sit for another five minutes or so uh, and let it really get to temperature. You can hit it sooner than 10 minutes, but I found that the 10 minute mark, depending on how hot or cold it is in the room, about the 10 minute mark is really where you start to see the major performance gains out of this mod. Right now, uh, I have it just hooked up to a regular variable voltage power supply, uh, the same one I used in my log video. It is currently at 12 volts, and we are just going to let this heat up. While this heats up, I'm going to talk about another upgrade that's recently come out for the WoodSense. This is the WoodSense Extraction Chamber by the Simrel Collection. Another great upgrade for the WoodSense. This increases the bowl capacity beyond a normal Dynavap tip and also opens up up some of the airflow making the wood sense a lot less restrictive. The other thing this extraction chamber does that um, was a little bit of a weird thing about the wood sense is that even though it does work with Dynavap tips, there are a lot of tips out there that wouldn't fit the particular heat core that you own because of factory tolerances. Whereas the wood sense extraction chamber fits any core. So you really get rid of any of those fitment issues you had with Dynavap tips and the wood sense. Coupling it with the ball mod, this makes the wood sense a completely new device and really, really kicks it up a notch as far as performance goes. Now that we've let it heat up some, loaded up some of our favorite flour, we're going to give it a little bit of a tamp. And we're going to give this a go. When I do my first bowl with this, I usually just set my device on top and let it heat soak a little bit to get the tip warm as well. So you really get that full oven experience in this whole thing. Let's give this a go. Yeah, I probably could have let it warm up a little more. And as you progress through the heat up cycle, it'll get more and more effective. From that first hit, it gave me a pretty good roasty color. I'll probably get one more good pull out of this. Before the ball vape upgrade, you could take a nice solid like six puffs off of a wood sense bowl. Now you're really, if you take some long steady inhales, you're, you're looking at a single or double hit extraction here. It's made the wood sense way, way, way more effective. Man, if I didn't like the wood sense before, doing this mod, getting this extraction chamber has really changed this and made it an amazing, amazing vape. The other place this mod really shines is through water. So if you like to uh, use your wood sense in a water piece, even through a dry glass piece, because you can inhale so much more volume, the balls really help sustain that heat inside of the core, making it a great experience through glass. However, for me and my use case scenario, I am really partial to just this stem setup. It's a very easy thing for me to take around the house when I'm sitting in different places or if I'm just playing video games or something, I can use this and not really worry about having to bump against any hot parts. This is all very protected.
Yeah, I mean, for a five minute heat up, this is doing really, really well. I'm gonna empty it out so you can see where we're at currently. So this is about three pulls on a five minute heat up cycle with the balls. I probably could go a little further on this, but I'm gonna just call this one cash for now. I'm gonna let this heat up just a little more and we'll be back and we'll give it one more rip. Like I showed in my scoop video, you can also use the scoop to load the wood sense extraction chamber. and give it a little tamp and you're good to go. I know a lot of people like to just to do the straw method and suck it up with the uh, stems since a lot of wood scent stems don't have the airports on them. For me, that's a little tricky. The keef sometimes bothers my allergies, so I don't really like doing the straw method. So I'll always just pack it in or use my little scoop. Now that we've let this heat up some more, we're gonna do another small heat soak and let's give it another go. Since that one had a little more time to heat up, I did a really strong inhale because I wanted to show you guys that even with a really, really strong inhale, you don't get any hot spotting in the center or any black uh, marks. So you can really haul on this thing with no fear of hot spotting anywhere. The balls really even out the heat surface. Awesome. <coughs> and here we go <coughs> on our second round. Another, I'd say about two and a half pulls. No black bits, no hot spotting, nice, even golden brown. And that's with, uh, I don't know, probably under a 10 minute heat up. So the more you let this thing soak, you can just really get this going to a great color. Thanks for watching this upgrade. Another huge, huge shout out to Draw Me an Elephant for this wood sense modification man it has really brought the wood sense back into my full rotation so i suggest anybody who has a wood sense to try this kick-ass upgrade and as always stay lifted